What's up designers? Today we're going to learn how to make an optical illusion called the Herman Grid Illusion in Adobe Illustrator. Um, I wanted to make a compilation of optical illusions in one video, but uh, as I started to combine them and do more than one, I started to get pretty seasick. Um, so yeah, just know that um, if you start to feel sick, just walk away from the computer um, and let my video run until the end, uh, please, and like and subscribe too. Um, so I'm going to name this Herman Grid and the width and the height are going to be 1500 by 1500. Just click OK. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I want to take away this white fill by clicking None, and then I want to hit this swap to uh, make my stroke go to the fill, so I have a black fill. And now I just want to go here to the rectangle tool. You can also just hit M on your keyboard. And uh, I want to create just a, a grid of uh, perfect symmetrical squares. So what I want to do is click and drag, and instead of a rectangle, hold shift, so I uh, make a perfect square. And let's make one about that big, I think that looks fine. And now, with the uh, selection tool, I just want to hover my square, hold option, so you see that uh, double icon, that means if we click and drag, we'll make a copy. Click and drag and hold shift, so you uh, pull it parallel to your first square. And that's a good distance, let's just release there. And now we're just going to do another quick keyboard command to duplicate that action. Uh, hold command and hit D. And let's just hit it until it fills up the artboard like that. That looks good. And now I want to continue this grid vertically. So highlight all of them and then hold option again. Click and drag while holding shift. Try to pull it the same distance down as you did across. That looks pretty good. And now with all of them highlighted still, um, hit command D just to again duplicate that action. So uh, we get this whole grid now. Um, that looks uh, about like what we want. Um, I'm just going to center all of this up. So highlighting everything, Command G to group it. And then in my align panel, I'm just gonna make sure it's aligned to artboard. It's gonna align it horizontally and vertically. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, the effect. Um, there is a way to uh, kick this up a notch. Uh, yeah, you should be seeing like a bunch of non-existent circles. Um, we're gonna kick this up by adding some real circles to that area. So just pull a rectangle. Um, that was a cool glitch. Pull a rectangle over all of our squares and uh, turn it a dark gray like that. Maybe a little bit darker than uh, the actual artboard. And uh, yeah, then Command, Shift, and Left Bracket to send it to the back, so we should see our uh, black squares again. And now if we zoom in, I'm going to hit the Ellipse tool. I'm going to turn my fill to white. Oops, not with the background selected. I want to make some white circles. So, Ellipse tool selected, um, change my fill to white. I'm just going to create some circles here where those non-existent circles um, were. That's nice. And I'm just going to copy that the same way over to each of those uh, intersections. And then I'm going to highlight all of them and do the same thing down. Uh, I'm not going to do that last one. And yeah, just like that. And now you have a, a grid. Now the white circles you should be like strobing between black, like try to whenever you try to look at it, you can't see it. Um, yeah, and uh, if you look at it too long, it will uh, it will make you sick and uh, make your brain hurt. So uh, yeah, just do that with caution. You can kind of play with uh, some of these colors and stuff too. If uh, yeah, you want to really bring it out. Oh man, that that really messes you up. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna end the tutorial here before I vomit. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be making more of these that aren't so uh, sickness inducing. Thanks. Bye.